some bright or sunny spells. It might cloud over in a few areas this afternoon with chance of light rain towards the Peak District. Well, you leave it with us, then we'll have to run you up there anyway. I love my job. As soon as I get in the police station, within half an hour, I'm out on my beat patrolling. My name's Zoe and I'm a police community support officer. What I really love about Bolton is, is the friendly people I meet every single day. There's a strong community spirit in Bolton and everybody helps each other. I've lived in Bolton all my life. It's the friendly town. Great community spirit and people generally stand together in Bolton if things go wrong. The people of Bolton are very much uh, down to earth. Uh, they tend to know what they want. It is a very diverse town. The town itself is very ambitious. It's always been very ambitious. My name's Steve Armfield. I'm the Director of Corporate Resources and Deputy Chief Executive at Bolton Council. I've been in the role for about 20 years. One of the most challenging aspects is meeting the needs of uh, the citizens in Bolton. We serve a population of around 260,000. We employ about 12,000 people. Every year we spend about £650 million on providing services. The Council's 10-year vision is aimed at three main things. To try and help those who are in the greatest need, trying to ensure that we can boost the economy of the town, attract new jobs to the town. And the third area is that's all about improving what we do and making sure we do it as efficiently as we can. With all the reductions in public sector expenditure, that's going to be more challenging than it's ever been. IT, I think, is absolutely critical to most large organisations. If the IT fails today, I mean, in many ways, the organisation grinds to a halt. As the director of IT, one of my biggest challenges would be to ensure that our investment in technology both enables the business to do what it wants, but also move it on towards doing new and different ways of working. When we originally tendered all the ICT contracts, it was very important to us that the company we chose had a great deal of experience in our sector, understood the public sector, and particularly understood local government, and Fujitsu had that experience. We've had a very long relationship with Fujitsu. Uh, our first contract was back in 1995. They were able to help us to meet the challenges of change that we were facing as a council. And in fact, the relationship has moved much more into a partnership since that time. We run over 150 systems through the Fujitsu contract. Of those 150 systems, the majority of them are fundamental to the running of our business. Without IT, they will not be able to meet their targets in both in terms of performance, but also in terms of value. We were looking to deliver value for money, and Fujitsu have helped the council deliver good value in many areas. And we've made very significant savings by working with Fujitsu and looking at different ways of delivering things. Uh, and of course, more recently, we've actually extended the contract uh, and again, we've negotiated and agreed jointly further savings out of that. We have a very good working relationship with Fujitsu and a lot of that is down to the people who we work with. Without the people you cannot deliver. Technology may be fantastic, but it's, it's the people that make it work. And Fujitsu, throughout the whole of, the, of his life, have brought in some very good people uh, locally to help us do that. Fujitsu have got this depth of knowledge, this skills, uh, understanding of the ICT market, so they can bring to us uh, new technologies, bring innovation to help the council actually develop its services and meet the needs of the citizens of the borough. There's lots of investment going on and it will bring Bolton back to the Bolton how it used to be when I was a child. So bring along the tourists.